Actually, last week then, I had a chance to see almost all of you came by at some point, which was great. And so most of the groups got some pretty good work done. Uh, I shouldn't say that. All the groups that came in got some really good, good work done. <laughs> and uh, Ricky's laughing at me over there. Um, and uh, yeah, and it was, it, was, it, was, it was really great. It was actually great to see some activity happening. It was great to see people collaborating, working together, helping out. It actually kind of felt like how it's supposed to feel, which is kind of fun and, uh, and, and busy. Um, and as a result, I was able to actually do uh, a bit of a model based on what we had done thus far. And so this then is where it currently stands. And so if you now, so this is what I spoke to with the various groups that I saw, and it's still, it's not 100% final. And at, we can definitely, if there's something you think, if you have any suggestions or reactions, or you think, oh, maybe we should change the lineup, then today's the day to talk about it because starting this week, we're gonna start physically placing stuff to actually kind of make it work, all right? So a quick tour of the space then would be that from the road, this is sort of what we see. The idea is that people will walk up the hill, this hill right here. So the side by the side of the theater because the, the hill is less steep than the one that goes directly up into the garage door. So they'll walk along here, which means then that whoa, we're lost in the trees which means then that the first thing we'd see would be the letters exhibit. The next one along will be the um, party for one group. And what their, what their current plan is that it'll be a chair on a riser with some flats behind it. And then as you look into the room, the idea that makes it that, that is, that is the, the, the kind of like gotcha idea is that there's a mirror hung on the wall. And when you sit in that chair, by playing around with the angle of the mirror, they're able to get it so that it looks like the mirror extends right to you and that you're actually sitting in a place setting inside the mirror. The idea is that there will be a trigger on the chair. So when you sit down, soon as party lights happen, a bunch of things go on, uh, there will be we're going to talk a little bit more uh, at, during the group stuff about there will also be a photo taken. So this also incorporates the photo booth idea. So there'll be a photo taken of the person in the chair. And I believe, I need to double check with Victoria, but I believe that's then being projected up top here as well. Okay, then the Carnival of Shadows idea is um, the top part is open. So you can see the shadow being cast by the toy Ferris wheel. And then there's going to be a peephole cut out in this part here, which when you look through, you can see the Ferris wheel and there will also be some buildings made out of boxes or something to the side, it's sort of sculptural. And then over here is the, um, up top is the documentation project. And Justin's not here right now, but uh, when I saw him on Friday, the latest idea was that he would use two windows and he was going to actually go with the idea of having two phones sort of having a conversation or having a dialogue. And then now this is, so then below that, I put Randa's project, which is the diorama. Although I'm wondering, and this is up to all of you, do you think it's, do you think it makes more sense to go here? So it's actually sort of one of the last things. It's kind of like the, the final thing that we see, or should it go at the other end maybe underneath the letters. Like it could actually be incorporated in the letters thing as well. Now I can't see all of you because I'm just looking at you. So if you have a question, just turn your mic on or chat away, I guess. Reactions, suggestions, 